Hello friends, welcome back to my channel or hello if you're new. My name is Eden and today we're going to be talking about my current favourites. I have a few beauty items, I have a few body care, I have a few home. Let's just go through it. The first category we're going to start with is body care. And if you follow me on TikTok, you'll know that I love the Laura Mercier Creme Brulee body cream. But as you can see, it's well and truly finished. Then I received the Laura Mercier Fresh Fig body cream, Laura Mercier body creams. Oh my gosh. I don't know what they put in here. I don't know, but it's great. I don't think you understand the level of moisturization, the level of hydration my body receives when I put these on. The only thing that made me not absolutely love it, give it a 10 out of 10, is the scent. The creme brulee scent was way too sweet for my liking. And I like sweet scents, so that's telling you something. The fresh fig scent is a lot fresher obviously, as the name suggests. However, it's still not there. It's not, oh my gosh, I wanna be known by the scent. This is going to complement the perfume that I'm putting on today. The majority of my body moisturizers that I use are scentless, so they don't clash with whatever perfume I'm wearing that day. I know that they have two other scents, so I'm definitely going to try them, but straight off the bat, hydration level, perfect. Consistency, perfect. Absorption, perfect. The formula is perfect. The only thing I'm not fond of is the scent, but hopefully we'll get there. We've got two more scents to try. The next body care item I have is this OPI On The Go Nail Cuticle Oil. I don't know if you can actually see what it looks like, but if you can't, I'll put a picture up. But oh my gosh, one thing about me is I love getting my nails done. I love my nails looking perfect, looking pretty. And my nail tech does such a good job. The only problem was my cuticles would just look a bit rough and ready sometimes. And that is not, that's not what we're going for. So the last time I got my nails done, I asked her, what is the best cuticle oil? She just said, just get the OPI one. I am not the kind of person who's gonna carry around the bottle everywhere I go with me. You know, the little, little oil bottle that they have? I'm not that kind of girl. So I got the on the go cuticle oil. I've used this more at home than on the go. The reason why it's because it's so convenient. I could be listening to a podcast. I could be watching a YouTube video. I could be watching a movie. I don't care. I will be sitting there applying this nail cuticle oil to my cuticles. And the difference I have seen in, I've had this for about two weeks now, the difference I have seen in one week, one week, not two, one week is insane. So if you don't have a cuticle oil, get one. And if you're not the kind of person who wants all the mess of the actual oil bottles, get the on the go version. The next item is actually a hand sanitizer. I finished it recently. I haven't bought a new one, but I'll put a picture of what it looks like. I love pink things. Pink things are great. So when I found this cute little pink hand sanitizer, I was like, oh, yay, come with me. And when I smelt it, it was so pleasant. It wasn't obnoxiously scented so that it would clash with your perfume, but it was a pleasant, not too hand sanitizer -y smelling. Just a pleasant, simple scent. It wasn't sticky, which, oh my gosh, hand sanitizer that's sticky and, oh, not fun at all. It wasn't sticky, it went on well, it smelled pleasant, it smelled quite clean. Overall, great hand sanitizer experience. And I'm so particular about my hand sanitizers, so this means a lot. The next item is this Diptyque perfume and it's called Opsis. I actually mentioned this in my most complimented perfumes of 2023 video, where I only had the sample, but I got the real thing. And this has been giving me non-stop compliments. It's the perfect skin scent. It's not like any other perfume I have. The majority of my perfumes are very girly, very sweet, very feminine, very dainty. This just smells like a person who just naturally smells nice. And there are so many different skin scent perfumes that I've heard of and that I've tried and I just don't care for them. Either I can't smell them at all or they just kind of smell a bit. Yeah. But this one, oh my gosh, it just smells you but better. That's the best way I can describe it. Now, on a completely opposite spectrum, we have the Lush Sugar Fairy Spray. This is probably the sweetest thing I have ever smelt in my life. It smells like straight sugar. That's the only way I can describe it. You know how I told you the Laura Mercier Creme Brulee was too sweet? This was a different kind of sweet. This was a cakey sweet. This is a sugar sweet. I personally think this is an inside the house scent because for a lot of people it will be very sweet, too sweet. I kind of like it for going to bed or just when you're at home. It's just such a pleasant uplifting scent. Just so sugary, so girly. It's called Snow Fairy and it, it fits the bill. That is exactly how it smells. One thing I despise though is the packaging. Why does it look like I'm spraying Dettol Disinfectant? on my body. That's not good. Next, moving on to the home category, I have been loving finding different ways to set my house. So I thought I would show you what I've been using recently. Number one, obviously candles. I got two candles from Diptyque. One is called Bays and the other one is called Vervain. Yes, when I heard this, I thought straight away of Vampire Diaries. And then I also received AJ Botanical's Hello, I Love You candle. Let's just talk about these candles for a minute because yesterday I burnt Vervain for the first time. When I smelt it in store, it smelled so pleasant, so lemony. When I burnt it yesterday, I walked into my kitchen and I thought, hmm, 
something smells weird. <laughs> I don't know what it is. But I do like how subtle yet strong these scents are. Out of all of these candles, which ones would I recommend? I like Bay's. AJA Botanicals in the nicest possible way smells very botanical. It smells very natural. And I do think it is. I think it's supposed to be a clean candle company, I believe. And I love how it looks as well. It smells quite nice and warm. All of these are very good year round. Out of all three of them, which one would I recommend? Probably either Bay's or AJA Botanicals Hello I Love You. But this is just the recent candles that I've got. This isn't my whole candle collection. The next candles I think I do want to get are from Jo Malone. I I think there's Salt and Stone, and there's also another company, but I've completely forgotten it. They are also ones that I want to try out. The next thing I've been trying out to make my house smell even nicer is simmering pots and using essential oils. And this essential oils kit, I believe, I think my mother got it for me. It's so good. Let me list off all of the essential oils that it has in here. It has frankincense, tea tree, lemongrass, bergamot, peppermint, rosemary, eucalyptus, neroli, lang lang, ylang ylang, I don't know how to pronounce that, lemon, sweet orange, grapefruit, cinnamon, and lavender. They are so pungent, they are so good, they are so, they project. Some have used more than others. For example, when I've been having showers, I would put a little bit of eucalyptus oil at the bottom of the shower floor, and then the steam and the water have been kind of scenting the air, and it smells so good, especially in the morning when you're trying to wake up. Lemongrass, lemon, eucalyptus, mint, all of them on your shower floor, perfect. I've also been using these essential oils in conjunction with simmering pots. For simmering pots, there are loads of different recipes you can find on Pinterest, on TikTok, probably on YouTube, and I've kind have been roughly following them but using the ingredients that I have at home. So for example there was a Christmas one that I tried where I didn't have any fresh cranberries so what did I do? I made it up as I went along and they've been working really well. One that I've recently found that I really do like is cut up lemons, a bit of lemon essential oil, cloves. Cloves are so so strong you do not need a lot and rosemary essential oil. It made my house smell so fresh yet a little bit spicy. I don't know it smelled like a gourmet candle it was great. I don't think gourmet was the right word but Okay. Moving on to skincare and hair care. The one hair care product I have to show to you is this Olaplex Number no. 9 Bond Protector. Now I have been using this for quite some time. I've been using this before I straighten my hair. Before I put on heat protectant on clean hair and then maybe I'll use the Color Wow spray over the top. But recently I've just been using it after I wash my hair when I wear my hair curly. And oh my gosh, it's great. It makes my hair feel so soft. I have naturally curly hair. If you're wondering what hair type, I think it's 4A. I think. I'm honestly not sure. But this is really helped soften my hair. I only used to use it for when I was straightening my hair, but I don't know why. One day I was like, hey, let's try something different. And I'm glad I did because it really does work. And what I'll do is I'll put this on clean hair, put in a leave-in conditioner, then put on, if I'm using any oil, oil afterwards. The next item is this Laneige Cream Skin Toner and Moisturizer. I'm not a big fan of changing up my skincare every two seconds. If something works for me, it works for me. But if I have a gap and I can fill it, I will fill it. And I hadn't found a toner that I'd liked. So when I got a little tiny tester, I tried it, loved it, and I decided to get the full size. I don't know why. Beforehand, I just couldn't trust Laneige with anything other than lip products, but here they are, wowing me. And when I talk about my favorite Laneige lip product, I'm not talking about the lip mask. I'm talking about the lip glowy balm. This stuff is fantastic. By the way, if you do want a video on all of my beauty favorites, please do let me know. But going back to the toner, it makes your face feel so soft. Oh my gosh. And I use this on my neck too because you know how they say you're supposed to carry your skincare down to the neck? I never do that. I, it's supposed to be like neck and chest area. I just forget. But I've been using this on my neck and chest area and oh my gosh, it feels so nice. So soft. Oh, I love soft skin. The next item is this La Roche-Posay sun cream. Now I used to use this La Roche-Posay sun cream. They're pretty much the same thing, yet drastically different. This one is extremely thin, this one is extremely thick. That is honestly the biggest difference. And the packaging, that's the biggest difference. But I much, much, much prefer the consistency and the feel of this one. It almost feels like an extra face cream. It feels like another layer of moisturization. And personally, my face needs all the moisture it can get. So this has been great. The last current favorite is actually a fashion item. And it is this cashmere cowl neck jumper from Lily Silk. Funnily enough, this shirt is actually from Lily Silk. That was not planned. I have been wearing this non-stop friends. Oh my gosh, it's so warm. It's not itchy. Oh, I don't think you understand. Trying to find a jumper that's not itchy sometimes is such a hard task. Why? I don't know. But this one is not itchy. It's so nice and I love white knitwear. I spoke about this in my winter wardrobe essential video and I was actually wearing this in my winter wardrobe essentials video. It's so nice. It just fits so well. It's so warm. It's not too thick. It's not too thin. It's just great. I'll try and link everything in the description in case there's anything that you wanted to try out, but this is just such a good 
jumper. So that is all of my current favorites. Thank you for watching until the end of the video. Let me know what your top three current beauty and lifestyle favorites are in the comments below. I hope you have a great week and I'll see you later. Bye.